Hello YouTube, this video is going to be just a demonstration about some of the circuits that I've made in Redstone in preparation for my uh, ALU. This is basically the input output board for it. Here are the OP inputs, uh, input 1 and input 2. It's going to be a fully fledged ALU, be able to basically get values from its RAM or add them up from the inputs. This of course is the OP commands, input 1 display, input 2 display, and the output display. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to be showing you today because basically, well, I haven't worked on any of it. I've only just built that. So uh, what I do want to show you is the circuits that I'll be using in it. Uh, you can have a look at this YouTube video here here, which is basically demonstrating this ALU that I made. It's a 4-bit adder, subtractor, XOR, XNOR, and or whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, but that's not really it. Here is how the 8-segment display is going to work. Basically, it's showing 0 at the moment because none of the switches are down. If I turn 1 on, it should change to 1. Yep, and if I turn 1 and 2 on, it should change to 3. Yep, as you can see there. If I turn on 1, 2, and 4, it should change to 7. Yep, and if I turn on 1 and 8, it should change to 9. Oops, got to turn on 8. There we go. Now if I turn on 8 and 4, it should change to B, I believe it is, which is hex, oh C, sorry, and so on all the way up to F, which is 15, there we go, F. Now this is basically for the outputs, uh, you get binary inputs here. And then that goes along this bus here to, I guess you could call this a uh, decoder, which basically gets the binary inputs and it works out which redstone lights it's got to turn on here, along these bus here, and then to there, yeah. Uh, this here is a memory cell, basically you can turn this on and off and it doesn't change the output but if you turn the clock on you can then change the output to whatever you want and if you turn the clock off doesn't matter what you do here the output won't change so basically the only time the output can change is if this is on and it'll change to whatever this is set to another bit I want to show you is the adder which is over here. This is my uh, clock circuit, which is frozen. So I just click the initiator. There we go, it's going now, seeing the pulses down. Uh, and over here is a adder that I created, which resets automatically. So if you watch the lights here, you see that they're turning on one by one. And when it gets to the end, it should reset. And away it goes. This is basically for cycling through the RAM and the memory and all that type of stuff. Of course you can make it uh, go manually, so click this, should count to the next one, click it again, they should reset. There we go, click it again, the first one, the second one, the third one, and so on and so forth. But I'll just leave it on that. And of course I got I can toggle resetting automatically or not. So now it won't reset when it gets full. But I can always reset it myself. But yes, anyway, uh, that is basically it. With all these different circuits and demonstrations, I hope to make my large ALU. Uh, if anyone wants a tutorial about how to build any of this, or how it works, or whatever, let me know and I'll put one up, but you should just be able to follow the circuit diagrams. There's also a 
a great Minecraft wiki, which is I found very helpful. And uh, yeah, have a great day.